Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? California and South Alabama and little towns all around this land. And we can skin a buck and run a trot line and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Big Number One Motorsports. Game face calls. When you head to the woods, you better bring your game face. Alabama Credit Union. 26 locations around the state to better service you. Nelson Glass. Been servicing the community for over 40 years and specializes in contract glazing and custom shower enclosures. White Oak Whitetails. If a big buck and a big bass is on your bucket list, then you need to visit White Oak Whitetails, and all music courtesy of country music legend, Hank Williams Jr. Hey folks, welcome to today's show. We are doing a little veteran hunt. Thanks to John Cameron and all the fine people at Cameron's Quail Preserve. Today I have uh, one of our veterans who we are primarily uh, showcasing. We got Kirk Stafford, who's with the uh, Ranger Unit, Airborne Ranger Unit. Kirk, Good to have you on the show, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thank everybody. Tell, tell our viewers a little bit about where you did some of your tours at. Uh, I was a member of the 75th Ranger Regiment. I did four tours in Afghanistan and then one in Iraq. And uh, some pretty, uh, a lot of nighttime raids and stuff like that, right? Yes, sir. Nighttime raids, helo operations, and ground operations, whatever needed to be done. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the hunt, but man, we, we're glad to have you on board. And, uh, I'm gonna get warmed up here in a few minutes and uh, mm. then we're gonna let you get warmed mm. up and we're gonna knock some birds down. We got John Cameron of Cameron Squirrel Preserve who did no tours. <laughs> I'm and, doing one today. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got little Bubba, who, what I call it, Cameron, who's gonna be taking over the reins here mm. at Cameron Squirrel Preserve down the road. Mm. Uh, but John, thanks for having us down here and letting us bring Kurt. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Bring some of these veterans down to give back just a little bit for all the the hard work they've done, so we can enjoy this. You know. Hoss, I'm gonna tell you something, Kurt. In this world of screwed up times where we don't know what bathroom to work use and all that going on, I'm gonna tell you something. Folks think of football heroes and they yeah. think of all these athletes as heroes. Hoss, you the real deal. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I was in the yes, Navy. Sir. But I never did any tours over there, yeah. but I thank you for your service and what you did for this country. Hey, thank you for God having me. God bless out. you. Yes, sir. All right. All right, well, let's, uh, are you ready to take over the reins, or you need a few more years behind you, or what? I'm just waiting on him to give up. Well, it ain't going to be long. <laughs> I can <laughs> promise you. <laughs> Not many yeah. more years fooling with yeah, you. It won't be long. I'm looking forward to working with you, son. The, the sooner we can get rid of this guy, the better off I'm going to be. But thank you for letting us come down, and, uh, and I know we're going to have a terrific hunt. If y'all want to come to a place that has huge cubbies, bring your clients and stuff, y'all need to come down to Cameron's Quail Preserve. They do a wonderful job down here around Warsaw, Alabama. Warsaw. Yeah. <laughs> let's go kill some birds. All man. right, let's go. Kirk doing a great job. <laughs> Take it. Good, Good job, job. Yeah. I think he warmed up. Uh, <laughs> girl, that's baby dog. That's your barking spaniel. Good girl. That's baby. Good girl, get that. There you go. A little snack never hurt nothing. What? Yeah. See what happens. Oh, he's backing up. Hurt! Oh, you was, you was sweating up a storm, too, no, buddy. My Lord, you ought to kill him. <laughs> I took that thing off that was blind. Yeah, that was the thing. What? <laughs> hey, Hold on. Good job, baby dog. I ain't off the wagon five minutes. Look at here. Yeah, five minutes. No. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, this is off the wagon five This minutes. is about 50 minutes Head into shot. the hunt. This he, is the first bird he's killed. He's, <laughs> he's fibbing. 
<laughs> Ain't no fibbing. And we got a point right I'm here. Like man. George Washington or that Abraham Lincoln. Bird! <laughs> hey, good shot, Kurt! Good shot! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that bird was dead when Kurt shot. What are you talking about? Bring it in now. Well, Kurt, go. Hey, go. Hey, hey, bring him over here to your daddy. Bring him over here to your daddy. I'm trying him. to show you what a dead bird is so you can grab it. <laughs> <laughs> good boy, good boy. That's how it's done. Good boy, good boy. You put me on the birds, I got it. Yeah, I hear you. Good shot. Bird! <laughs> Get on! Get on! Good boy. Good boy, good boy, here, good job. That's what I'm talking about. All right, good job. I'm glad somebody listened to you. <laughs> Six with two shots. You seen how many got up? Yeah. My goodness, son. When was that and when I was warming up? You didn't have your gun. Well, no, I'm trying to get well, her the best pick. shot you made all day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like smart Alex. Uh, Check up. Check up, go. Check up, go. All right. Oh. Kurt, thank you, Kurt. Yeah. 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 Good Alabama snow. Man, I feel like I'm. That's me. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. that's you 40 years ago. <laughs> oh, Lord help me. Man, good man, good man, good boy. Smile. <laughs>
At File Hooked Outdoors on Highway 43 North, we carry all of Tommy's turkey calls, plus decoys, shells, vests, and chokes. We also carry a full line of fishing gear. So the next time you're in the area, stop by Foul Hooked Outdoors. Let's rejoin Tommy. All right, folks, we're taking a little break in between chasing these birds down. Kirk Stafford with me, who's uh, one of the rangers. We're doing this veterans hunt down here at Cameron's Quail Preserve, thanks to the Cameron family. And uh, Kirk, now that you're out of the service, what are you doing now? Uh, now I'm working with uh, Intercon Resources. We uh, market natural gas. We're a privately held company and we just provide gas for a lot of these uh, uh, small businesses and uh, some of these industrial companies as well. What about uh, your family? My family, uh, my wife, Andrea Stafford, they call her Andy. Uh, I have two boys. They're uh, Levi and Bo. One's three, Levi, and then uh, Bo's ten months right now. So <laughs> you get your hands full. <laughs> it's it's wild. It's it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> they say I had two girls, so but they say boys are a little rougher. Oh and yeah. The more I look at these Cameron family, I know I know what they're talking about. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's go see if we can knock a few more birds down. Yes, sir. This is a dog that will just capture Tommy's heart. His name is Boudreaux. <laughs> Belongs to Mr. Wesley Gewitt. That's what we do down here too, is train dogs. And uh, he's a top notch little old dog. He's he's just turned a year old and uh, he's already had probably close to 300 birds killed over the top of it. But uh, hopefully he won't act like them cages. It could be a long day. <laughs> Let's go, Boo. Hi. Right there. Yep. Yep. Hey, he ain't the only one that got two in one. <laughs> what, man? I don't, don't play around. Don't boy. say that. He he's, he's struggling just to get two on all them. Hey. All them birds come out his side. I'm, I'm trying to let them get up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think they got up. They up got about <laughs> 70 yards. They up. Hey, he's got two in one. Bird, back side. Yeah, that's a shot right there. Good shot, Mr. Kirk. How them bones hit you right there. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know if you got that. There you go. Play around, boys. I told y'all. <laughs> told y'all I'd take this chariot. You can't look at the headshot. You ought to have you ought to have two birds. Show him that headshot. That wasn't but sixty come out on show, your side. Show him that headshot. Uh, headshot. Look at that headshot. He bleeding out of his mouth, see? Headshot. That's what he calls a headshot. Bird shot back in his butt and he bleeding out of his mouth. <laughs> look at that oh. Thing. Boudreau. Boudreau got my bird. Good job, Boo. Oh, Boo. Boo. Look at Boo. Boo. Good job, Boudreau. Don't lose him, son. He don't kill that many. Good job. Go. <laughs> don't. Hey, folks, I made history on this cubby right here. Yeah. It's probably go down in history. Yeah. One shot, three birds. They gave me credit for two. One shot, three birds. You what? just said it was two and one. Well, y'all only gave me credit for two, but it was really three, I think. Went I think somebody from the other side actually killed both birds you shot. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> dog. We're gonna hang. A, we're gonna hang a plaque here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> this ought to be a good. Get on. Bert. Up, 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 up
he's Hollywood. Hi, my name is Bubba Dickinson with Nelson Glass Company, and we'd like to thank Bobby Reese with Mass Climbers out of Georgia for giving us a hand with our charitable hunts. We couldn't do it without you, Bobby. Thank you. Thanks to the sponsors that make it possible for us to bring the joy of the outdoors to those who need it most. All of our special guests, from those with cancer to our wounded warriors, benefit from the generosity of these sponsors. And we encourage you to support the businesses that champion this important work. Hi, I'm Clay Chandler. This segment is brought to you by Malville Feed and Seed. And I'm Michael Brown here at Malville Feed and Seed, and I'd like to let you know that we can handle all your turkey needs from Tommy's Turkey Calls the seed, feed, and fertilizer. Come see us for your spring and summer planting. So if you're coming through Malville on Highway 69, come to downtown Malville and see us at Malville Feed and Seed. Now let's rejoin Tommy. feathers by gosh. That's how that's done. Did I shoot that one or did Kurt? <laughs> I, I had think, my gun this I way. Think that I was you over your shoulder. You just be be content with walking around and looking like a hunter. <laughs> 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 I got my camera on, my real tree. I see you look good. Your real tree it. look good. <laughs> got your gun holding it just right. <laughs> <laughs> you look the part. Too bad you can't be the part. <laughs> Bullet. Fetch on, son. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Release it. Good job. Hey, folks. We having a ball up here at Cameron's Quail Preserve. Got a little bubble with me. John's son, who's going to be taking over the range here. Hopefully not too soon, but <laughs> the old man's getting old, so it won't be long, son. You better, yeah. you better tighten your britches up, because he's, he's not looking good. He's not walking real good. Yeah, I know. Tell us a little bit about, uh, I know you got some plans that you want to add to what's already going on down here, some fishing and some hogs and whatever. Talk a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so sir. Here recently we just purchased uh, 260 acres and it's uh, got two good bass fishing lakes on it. And uh, we're going to prepare them so we can take people out there to go fishing on them. Uh, you know, don't, don't have little bass, you want to catch the big ones and that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, later on, we'll be having a duck hunt. We're gonna try to do that. Um, we're gonna, you know, plant and see how the year goes, and then later on, we'll probably start having booking hunts uh, once or twice a week. Not, you know, not too much. You'll scare them all off, but it's gonna be all natural, no release ducks or anything like that. So that's about that's about what we want to do. And uh, some about hogs. Do y'all have hogs down here, or yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do. Uh, well, what we're planning on doing is, you know, baiting them up and then uh, one night, you know, get our permit, be legal and all that. And then we can take people out there, night vision scopes, thermal scopes, and, you know, have a little fun at nighttime, too. Well, I like that about you because the first thing you said is doing something legal. <laughs> and uh, I've been dealing with your dad for a long time. No, I'm just kidding. Well, man, <laughs> hang in there. Like I said, your paw's limping a little bit, so it won't be long. <laughs> no, sir. So pull your britches up. All right, <laughs> folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with some more quail hunting from Cameron's Quail Preserve, Warsaw, Alabama, with veteran Kirk Stafford. Y'all stay with us. 
finishing my weekend to-do list. Not having a weekend to-do list? Being treated like a member. Not a number. Do I look like a number? Starting something new. Staying on top of what's new. Coming home at the end of the day. And loving where I live. Seeing a smile on somebody's face and knowing I made it happen. What makes you feel good? Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Talladega County Exchange has four locations to serve hunters and farmers. Talladega, Mid-State Co-op in Columbiana, and St. Clair Farmers Co-op in Pell City and Asheville. We have a huge selection of hunting supplies, as well as feed, seed, fertilizer, and chemicals. Our Pell City store is a certified Hoyt dealer and archery center, while Columbiana has a full line small engine repair shop. So come by our quality co-op stores today and check out our down to earth values. You'll be glad you did. Hi everybody, I'm Johnny Lee. Now you might remember me from the movie The Urban Cowboy, and I'm still looking for love in all the wrong places. But let me tell you about the right place to look. Three Lakes, Trophy Ranch, right here in beautiful Wisconsin. You are so right, Johnny Lee. And the lodging and food, five star. And the deer, wow, you just gotta come see for yourself. Hey, take it from old Johnny Lee. Call Jan at Three Lakes Trophy Ranch, right here in beautiful Wisconsin. You'll be glad you did. I am. Looking for love. Hey, this is Hank Williams Jr. I can skin a buck, I can run a trot line. When you go to the woods, bring your game face. Game face calls. To find out more about these new and exciting products, go to gamefacecalls.com, tommywilcox.com, or check your local retailer. Hey folks, if you're looking for a piece of equipment, that'll get you around the hunting area or on your land farming, you gotta check out these Polaris crews out. Uh, this Polaris Ranger is a heck of a piece of equipment. It has the extra cab on the back. I can tote all my camera guys and camera equipment along with my guests in one trip. Plus, if we take a deer, we can haul that out too. The Polaris Crew Ranger, call my good friends, at Big Number One Motorsports in Homewood, Alabama, nobody can beat their price or their service. Check them out today. Hi, my name is Bubba Dickinson with Nelson Glass Company, and we'd like to thank Bobby Reese with Mass Climbers out of Georgia for giving us a hand with our charitable hunts. We couldn't do it without you, Bobby. Thank you. I'm Chris Duke with Talladega County Exchange. And I'm Randy McKee with the Pell City Branch. And here's our turkey tip of the season. And the Talladega turkey tip of the season is when you're planting your fall food plots, don't forget to add in one or two places to put a good chufa plot. And don't forget to bring your tractor out and disc up some nice dusting areas for your turkeys also. And all of our locations carry a full line of Tommy's game face calls. And don't forget to put up a game camera so you'll know what turkeys you have on the food plot. And now let's rejoin Tommy. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this week's show. I want to Thank the Camerons, of course, for letting us come down here and do this for uh, one of our veterans. And uh, again, John, thanks so much, man, for letting us come down here, bring Kirk down here, and yes, sir. try to stay up with me as far as killing birds. That was that was a treat, man. Son, just come down here sometime without this, and you'll have a whole lot better time. <laughs> well, we appreciate your service and what uh, you've done. We yes, thank sir. you greatly. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. And Kirk, yeah, I appreciate it too, man, for yes, you sir. coming. And I look forward to working with you and yes, some sir. of the other veterans that you bring to the table, yes, uh, especially this turkey season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and I appreciate it, gentlemen. It was one of the best experiences I've had. Yes, sir. Well, Our folks, pleasure. if y'all yes, looking sir. for huge coveys, y'all need to come down here to Cameron's Quail Preserve. John, if people are looking to, you know, to, to book a trip, y'all go to the end of March. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you. 
Uh, y'all go to the end of March. What, what's the best way to get up with y'all? You can reach us at 205-367-7636. It's my cell phone number. Or you can reach us at CameronSquareReserve.com. And there's a direct link to the, uh, just email me. And uh, we'll get you on the calendar and have a good hunt with you. Well, thank you for letting me bring Kirk yes, really right. down here. Thank I mean, you. for you to thank give you up, you know, we, we really thank appreciate you, it. And I also want to thank Mass Climbers and, and Bubba Dickinson for all y'all do, too, for Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. <laughs> if y'all want to come have a ball, y'all come down here to Cameron's and come get you some of this. Mm. Thank you. What was that? <laughs> <laughs>